Uh, so my name is Ryan Shearman, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Ether Diamonds. And yes, we make diamonds from thin air. Essentially, we've developed a proprietary technology that allows us to transform harmful CO2 that's in the air into gem grade diamonds. A, a former colleague of mine, who's now my, my co-founder, our COO, Dan Wino, uh, we started having a discussion about direct air capture, new technologies that were coming to the forefront that would enable humanity to decarbonize our environment using technology rather than just natural-based climate solutions. And in those conversations, it occurred to us, diamonds are just crystalline carbon. What can we do to introduce a new paradigm where diamonds don't have to contribute to climate change? They can reverse climate change. And that's been our focus. Um, you know, there's another side of the equation that often is, is discussed, but maybe not always at the same time. And we see opportunity there as well. And that is about empowering consumers. The, the jewelry trade and the diamond trade in general are, are sometimes hard to navigate for consumers. And that's by design, right? The harder it is to understand what, what it is you're buying, the more opportunity there is to take advantage of consumers, perhaps. And we operate with radical transparency. You know the term carbon neutral. Everybody is familiar yeah. with the term. 10 years ago, that wasn't the case. Carbon negative is kind of at that stage right now. And we see a number of different terms being used and, and thrown around. And, and there is no real unified definition of what carbon negative it is, but there is a generally accepted description. Mm -hmm. So a, a carbon negative product is one that is produced in a manner where all logistics and operations and all emissions related to that are carbon neutral, right? If you simply are doing bad things, emitting a ton of emissions and buying carbon offsets, that's never going to get you to carbon negative. At best, you'll be carbon neutral. And you know, when we first started, we said, all right, perhaps we can get recycled gold. And it turns out that is a, a bit of a greenwash term. Hmm. There are recycled gold sources that can be clean. But if I take dirty gold and I make some jewelry with it and I have some scrap left over and I melt that down once, it's now considered recycled gold. So just because it was dirty a week ago and has been remelted, that doesn't make it any cleaner. So we needed to make sure that the absolute source of the gold from when it came out of the ground was from the best, most responsible operations that we could possibly find. Uh, but right now we're using Fairmine Gold exclusively because as you said, it's, it's certified third party responsible and just like our diamonds and just for you know we're not coming out here and, and making baseless claims around our diamonds uh, we do have similar third party certifications around that so um, we can we can kind of know and feel comfortable that the claims that we make across everything we do are of the utmost transparency and legitimacy